In this video, we're diving into the fascinating world of IP ratings, focusing on the differences between IPX7 and IP67. What do these numbers mean, and how do they impact your gadgets? Stick around, and by the end, you'll be ready to make smarter tech choices. IP stands for Ingress Protection, a rating system that measures how well a device resists dust and water. High IP ratings are crucial for durability, especially for gadgets exposed to the elements. Picture this, your speaker dies mid-party because of a sudden rainstorm. Frustrating, right? A solid IP rating ensures your device can handle these moments, offering peace of mind and reliability. On the flip side, a low IP rating could mean your device is more prone to damage, leading to costly replacements or repairs. Let's break it all down and explore why these ratings matter. Let's kick things off with IPX7. Here's the breakdown. The X in IPX7 means the device hasn't been formally tested for dust resistance, but that doesn't mean it's entirely dust vulnerable. It just lacks a certified rating. The 7, on the other hand, signifies strong water resistance. An IPX7 device can survive being submerged in up to one meter of water for 30 minutes without sustaining damage. However, there's a catch. This rating is specifically for static water, not pressurized or flowing water. So, while these gadgets are great for indoor use, like in bathrooms or kitchens where water splashes are common, they're not the best choice for rugged outdoor adventures. Popular examples of IPX7 rated devices include the Anchor Soundcore Motion, plus JBL Flip 4, JBL Flip 5, and JBL Charge Essential. Perfect for handling occasional water exposure without worry. That said, even with IPX7, Keep in mind that prolonged submersion or regular exposure to water can eventually impact internal components such as the battery. So while it's a reliable level of protection, it's not invincible. Now, let's dive into the more robust IP67 rating. Like IPX7, the 7 signifies the ability to withstand submersion in water up to 1 meter deep for about 30 minutes. However, the standout feature of IP67 is the 6, which provides complete protection against dust and solid particles. This means no dust can enter the device, even with prolonged exposure. This dual protection makes IP67 devices ideal for outdoor adventures like beach outings, hiking, or backyard parties, where both dust and water exposure are common. Whether you're trekking through dusty trails or caught in unexpected rain, you can trust IP67 rated gadgets to keep performing without a hitch. Additionally, IP67 rated devices can handle water sprays and jets in outdoor conditions, giving you even more flexibility. Popular speakers with this rating include the JBL Flip 6, Ultimate Ears, Megaboom 3 Ultimate Ears, Wonderboom 3 Bose Soundlink Micro, JBL Charge 5, and JBL Xtreme 3. These devices are built to thrive in tough environments, making them perfect for adventurous users. Beyond leisure, IP67 devices also excel in industrial or construction settings, where dust and debris are prevalent. So, whether you're scaling mountains or working on a dusty job site, IP67 rated gadgets deliver the durability you need. The key difference between IPX7 and IP67 lies in their dust protection. While IPX7 focuses solely on water resistance, IP67 provides dual protection against both water and dust. This makes IP67 the better choice for versatile, outdoor-friendly gadgets. Whether you're near a pool caught in the rain or trekking through dusty trails, an IP67 rated device ensures better durability. On the flip side, if your primary need is water resistance for indoor settings, IPX7 rated devices will serve you well without the added cost of dust protection. However, it's worth noting that the durability of the seals protecting against dust and water in IP rated devices may degrade over time, especially if subjected to frequent extreme conditions. That wraps up today's video. We've explored the key differences between IPX7 and IP67, helping you decide which rating suits your needs best. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel for more tech tips and insights. Got any questions or personal experiences with IP rated devices? Drop them in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.